is May 22nd, 2018. Going down to explore a corner of Utah I haven't seen yet in the Pine Valley Mountain Wilderness outside of St. George. It's definitely nice to get back into the Alpine Meadows type of terrain after the extended trip on a section of the Hayduke Trail last month through Red Rock Canyon country. It's actually a bit of a short season for this loop I'm doing that starts from the Whipple Trailhead next with the Summit Trail makes its descent down the Browns Point Trail with a short connector trail or road walk to get back to the Whipple Trailhead. It's a bit of a short season here on this loop because all of the water sources are fed by snowmelt. So June is generally the best month to go, but with a lighter snowpack this year, late May should work well also. Definitely gonna be some elevation change, as you can see out in front of me here, and we'll see how we go over the 17 and a half mile loop. For the campgrounds here, near the trailheads, it costs $17 per car camping site. For hikers, it costs nothing to park at the trailheads. Today is May 23rd, 2018. Last night I had a late start from the Whipple Trailhead and gained about 1,300 feet over a couple miles and made it up into Hop Valley here as I start this loop in the Pine Valley Mountain Wilderness. It's a lovely campsite here right next to uh, flowing water, at least this time of year it's flowing. Today I'll be continuing on the Whipple Trail until I reach the Whipple Valley and connect with the Summit Trail, which will get me into South Valley before it branches off and climbs up towards the ridge and Hidden Valley, as well as the middle fork of the Santa Clara River. I'm aiming to reach Ney Canyon tonight before making that steep descent tomorrow down to Brown's Point Trailhead. Seen a little bit of wildlife so far, even saw a rattlesnake as I was climbing up the switchbacks last night. Really beautiful scenery here. Does remind me of Central Oregon or maybe even Yosemite as far as the mix of the conifers with the terrain that I'm seeing. Only it has a bit of that desert flavor with the various lizards and the rattlesnake. So I'm about to head up to Whipple Valley and we'll see how I go. Coming into the first of several valleys along the Summit Trail here is Whipple Valley, where the Whipple Trail merges with the Summit Trail. Just some light post holing so far.
made it up to a viewpoint on my way to the junction between the Summit Trail and the Browns Point Trail. Mostly sunny today, but partly cloudy, so it's been some lovely cloudscapes as well. But I'm almost finished with what will end up being, I don't know, 9 or 10 miles for the day. I've got a view down onto St. George right now and some Red Rock Canyon country there. After walking in a canopy for much of the day and now looking back over the Pine Valley Mountains. Today is May 24th, 2018. Yesterday I gained some 3,000 feet with up and down segments that kind of roll across the Pine Valley Mountains, even getting up and over 10,000 feet for a little bit there before dipping down to where I am now. Where I camped last night was right by the junction of Summit Trail and Browns Point Trail. Haven't seen very many people out here. Saw one trail runner on the first day coming down the switchbacks there on the Whipple Trail. And yesterday saw two more trail runners both on the Summit Trail, including David from Las Vegas. It did remind me of the sort of ups and downs that I experienced through the Wildcats of New Hampshire. So it brought back some nice memories of that, only here there was no rain at all, unlike in the Wildcats. In any case, I'll be heading out soon to take on the steep descent down to Browns Point Trailhead, where I'll be descending some 3,000 feet in about three miles, so let the knee busting begin. Overall, this trip gains about 4,400 feet over about 15 and a half miles. If you include the equestrian trail that leads back to the trailhead where I started, it's closer to 17 and a half miles. I found that the Pine Valley Mountains present a, a really great alpine setting. At a time of year when other wilderness areas further north will still have too much snow, the vicinity to Las Vegas also makes it an excellent option for folks in that part of Nevada. On my first day out, I actually set down my sunglasses and ended up losing them because I just kept walking and forgot about them. But just this morning, came upon some pretty sweet sunglasses here, a little flashier than the ones that I lost. So, thank you, universe. This is actually the day when I really need them, too. There's not a cloud in the sky, and it's just ending up to be a beautiful walk down the uh, ridge line here on Browns Point Trail. with nice views of Pine Valley as well, a cute little town that one must drive through to get to these trailheads here. It's just the type of hiking I like though. The trees are thin enough to get some sweeping views from both sides with some shade mixed in. It's a nice reward for having to drop so much vertical all at once here. You see horses out on the trail. Be sure to make your presence known because that could be a dangerous deal if the horses get spooked when there's people riding them. Definitely a shared use trail here. Saw some bike tracks as well. So, all the non motorized modes of transport here between the Whipple Trail and Black Point Trailhead. I'm 
definitely grateful for the beautiful weather throughout the trip, even after spotting that storm ban passing over Pine Valley on the first day. Felt grateful that it did not hit me and that I was able to find water throughout the trip whenever I needed it. Snow is not out of the question in May. The ranger told me that snow even fell here last week or maybe it was two weeks ago. Brought the spikes, but sure enough did not have to use them. That's all for now. See you next time. The next Backpacker Diaries. Scored a permit to spend a couple of nights doing the Fish Creek Owl Creek Loop. Just some peculiar sights here in Fish Creek Canyon. Guess it all comes with the territory of camping in the backcountry. <laughs>